<laughs> Very cool. Ted Fest 2020. <laughs> you got man of the match. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to Ted Fest 2020. This is my seventh year at Ted Fest and it's absolutely brilliant. I recommend anyone come to Ted Fest because it's absolutely brilliant. So please, please come to the Aran Islands. Please come next year to Ted Fest and I can guarantee I will look after you from Sir Tony Judge. God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, of the Son. So, Thank you. Honestly, so far this has been an awesome weekend. Like, we still have tonight left, we still have the lovely girls competition and we still have lots of stuff to do tomorrow. I actually can't believe I'm here. It's kind of like we're actually in Craggy Island, you know, it's kind of like almost dreamlike because everyone has just gone wild. Everyone just knows that they're here for the same thing and they're all up for the crack. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just great, honestly. I can't stop smiling. It's just I've just been constantly smiling since I got here. And uh, yeah, it's been cool. <laughs> I'm just about to hit the lovely girls competition and it's pouring outside and I've already got wet today so I'm really not looking forward to it but I do have something that I've completely forgotten about all weekend that I should have used it's a poncho <laughs> I'm gonna look like a second telly tubby walking up the road nice. <laughs> yep I think I'm going mad Ted yep <laughs> I'm ready to go let's rock and roll smoke a cigarette around that fucking sheep or we're all in trouble. Loads of matador stuff. Ah, oh, brilliant! Father Ray Clancy, who today has come as Ireland's biggest laundry section. that went into this lad. She has a fucking crow's nest and everything. Just like last night, this is completely up to you. We picked out the teddish, nerdish stuff. It's not up to me now. It's not up to Father Peter. Definitely wouldn't let him decide anyway because he's a fucking Protestant. So, I want to hear your cheers for BBC Sound Effects Volume 4. <laughs> Spider Baby. <laughs> Diana Ross and two of the Supremes. Get them feckin' crunchies out of the car. Yay! Ireland's biggest laundry section. The Sacred Heart. Chris the Flammable Sheep. Loads of Matador stuff. Father Jack's underpants hamper. Jesus, they set yourself on fire. Health and safety. Birds, feckin' birds, a crow and her nest. We have three clear leaders, and everybody else, I'm really sorry. So, Father Jack's underpants hamper. Stay at the front, Brian McManus and the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And please remain at the front, Father Ray Clancy and Ireland's biggest laundry section. To any of the contestants, fair fucking play to you. Father Jack's underpants hamper, I have to apologize. Yesterday you were. No, uh, tonight I'm Father Jessup, I'm the most Father Je I totally got that wrong. Ooh. Fuck off. So, so, sorry. So he can fuck off. It's now between. 
Of course, we put our Lord first. Brian McManus in the Sacred Heart of Jesus. <laughs> for the Ray Clancy, for the drinks trolley, the parachute, the blind priest, and Ireland for the Stanford section. And he came round by southern Yemen. Let's hear it for Father Jessup! <laughs> has said that in joint second place we have our Lord and Father Jessup. Hey! the bus! Award! Grow more! <laughs> After carrying a cross on one boat, seven bags, Father Ray Clancy has won the best dress at Telefest 2020! If you need a slash, do it now, or forever hold your peace. We're gonna ready the ladies. They are waiting. What sort of thing do you do to cheer yourself up when you've had a bad day? Sometimes I sit alone under my duvet, eating large men's ice cream. Here's one she made earlier, yes? What do you think of the show so far? Fantastic. Are Peter, you know, having any difficulty judging? No, I don't think so. The one, the one thing I've seen tonight that I've never seen before which alarmed me somewhat was sandwiches being made without butter. Father Martin? I think it's still very close. That was brilliant. Big hand there. Oh yeah. The judges will deliberate. In no particular order, the two finalists are Colleen and Murrin. Colleen and Murrin. Between two lovely women. Hopefully, hopefully for not, not the last time tonight. Now, I am going to tell a joke to you, and then you will laugh. I'm going to tell a joke to you, and then you will laugh. What do you get if you mix castor oil with holy water? I don't know. What do you get? An ecumenical movement. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Why do blind people not like skydiving? Why do blind people not like skydiving, Father? Because it scares the shit out of their dogs. <laughs> Who's the best laugh? Now, first of all, Maureen's laugh. Let me hear you. Yeah! We hear your applause or appreciation for Colleen's laugh. Yeah! Uh, uh, Colleen, congratulations. Yeah! That's a fair play. Well done, Colin. Congratulations. Good morning. Today, 
is the last day of TEDFest. Thankfully, I'm not too hungover. I think everyone's probably going to go mental tonight because they know that tomorrow it's back to the mainland, back to reality, back to work, back to the grind, and away from Craggy Island for another year. The last night was pretty good. I was going around talking to lots of people that I didn't know and just, yeah, it was good meeting people and getting to chat with new people is always good. Okay, so I was just walking past here and all of a sudden I spotted like a pint glass full of bugs. Okay. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck was that? Two mad fuckers below on the beach. <laughs> They might be trying to get rid of the hangover, maybe. If you're worried about coming here and you're thinking that, oh, well, Ted Fest sounds really good, but I don't want to just go drinking and partying for four days. Well, you don't have to. I haven't really talked about it much, but there's actually a lot to do here on the island. There's a big, massive fort just up the road called Dunangus. It was built hundreds of years ago. It's really, really cool, very impressive. You can also rent bikes. Uh, you can do a little pony and uh, cart jaunts. There's lots of good bars and pubs, lots of nice food. And yeah, there's lots to do here. Lots of history. And it's just a beautiful place to be looking around and, you know, to have an adventure. But it's feeling kind of weird that it's the last day. It's like, you know, the feeling when you know it's your last day of a holiday and you're kind of like, hmm, I don't want to go. It's wild and crazy, but like not in a dangerous way. It's just pure mental fun. It's mental crack. And nobody cares, but like no one is taking it too far either. Well, maybe one or two people, you know, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's been brilliant overall. And I really want to come back. Kind of got that feeling on day one. I was like, wow, this place is different. This place is unique. It's been really cool. It's just sad that it's coming to an end. Yeah. 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 Major, she wasn't even that lovely. Major carriage from a tin whistle. I oh, actually saw that. That yeah. was really good. Yeah. yeah. Didn't didn't I, I think tin the whistle. actual tin whistle beat you though. Know. She was very good. She actually put in the dedication at <laughs> the time. She was very very good. So what did you think of Ted Fest overall then? It's brilliant. It's a nice little community that goes on. Everyone seems to get on. It's a really good vibe. Have you been here before? No, nope, first time. We are Ted fans. Will you be Shocking. back? Yeah. Yeah. One hundred and ten percent. With a bigger crew and more costumes. Yeah, yeah, we really feel under, yeah. under prepared. I know it doesn't seem that way. Well. Yeah. <laughs> next uh, year, next I'm going to get my Tinkin hats year. on. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'll okay. be back for 2021. Ah, nice, nice. <laughs> really great show. Sure. Was it your first time? Yeah, first time. Nice, nice. First time. But uh, we'll be back next year with more. <laughs> boat that just left that was carrying a lot of Ted Festers from the island and uh, there was a lot of sad faces there and I don't really blame them because I'm kind of sad to be gone as well. It's hard to be sad because the past few days have been excellent so it's kind of bittersweet I guess it's bright and early Monday morning it's like quarter past eight. I'm slightly worse for weather, not really hung over and just tired after like four long days, four long busy days but uh, it's been an amazing weekend honestly it's been brilliant. One of the best weekends I've had in a long time and I really needed it as well you know. Jesus, it is windy. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a daze or something. So I was worried about my transport not being able to make it off the island, but I just got a phone call and it looks like it will be good to go soon. So it's been awesome, Craggy. Hopefully we'll see you again. And lads, remember, we're all going to heaven. So yeah, I'm gonna be getting off the island. I'm here at Connemara Airport. Uh, it's like the smallest airport I've ever been to. And uh, the plane is gonna be coming in here in a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna be flying back to Golda. It's only gonna be an eight minute flight, so. <laughs> I'm just sad to be gone and just sad to be leaving Craggy Island. One thing I'm really looking forward to now is having a massive sleep in tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the little things. There's my plan. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be grand. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be grand. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Fine. That was really cool. 
cool. <laughs> Scary, but really cool. What's the crack? Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to watch part one, you can watch it up here. And just before I go, I just want to say a massive thank you to Peter and Eugene, two of the organizers of TED Fest, for inviting me out to the island after I begged them to make a video. And I've had one of the best weekends I had in a long time. I met some amazing people, and like I really wish I can go back to Craggy Island. And, and hopefully, I'll see you all and maybe some new faces again next year for another TED Fest video or whatever, you know. Maybe I'll just go as a punter and dress up, but we'll see. Oh, what a weekend. Like, it feels like it was ages ago. It's only like the weekend after, but it feels like it was so long ago. But yeah, I'm already looking forward to TED Fest 2021, so I might see you all there. And that's it for me for this week. I'm back again next Friday with another video. And I just want to say thanks to all my new subscribers, my new viewers. Just thanks for being here, and I'll see you all again next week. Bye.